Hi friends, welcome to Green Coach. This is Varsha Subbarav along with my friend Banu. Welcomes you to Green Coach. Green Coach offers online tutorial for various horticulture subjects. And today we are discussing about physical and me mechanical methods of pest control. Let's start our today's class. First of all, we will see what is the physical method of pest control. In physical method of pest control, we are based on several physical factors like temperature, radiation, moisture. Temperature, radiation, moisture. By making these factors in excess or lower amounts, we will kill insects. By, by making these factors available in excess or in lower amounts, we will kill insects. First of all, we will see moisture. Moisture. Dry dye means silica gel. It is applied on the insect which will make the insect deprived of moisture and the insect will die. We will apply dry dye or silica gel to the surface of the body of insect. It will make the insect deprived of moisture and the insect will die. The next one is calonic clay. Calonic clay is made by alternate acid treatments and heat treatments. One will give acid treatment followed by heat treatment followed by acid treatment followed by heat treatment several times. Calonic clay is prepared by acid and heat treatments alternatively. This is mixed in stored products and it will kill the insects. It is mixed in stored products and the and it will kill the insects. Example rice. We will use silica gel and calonic clay for moisture. The problem of moisture. Heat. If we use heat above 55 degrees, it will kill insects. If we apply the heat of above 55 degrees, it will kill insects. Steam sterilization. Means giving vapor treatment to the insect means giving vapor treatment to the insect it is called steam sterilization giving vapor treatment to the insect means we will expose the insect to high amount of steams flame throwers flame throwers means the grasshoppers group is called locust these locust attacks the fields and they will not go by using any chemical methods or physical or any other methods we will f we will throw some flames by Afraiding of these flames, they will left off field. Throwing of flame is called flame thrower. It is an instrument which is used to throw the flames on the locust of grasshoppers. Next one is air. We will remove oxygen from our field. It will kill our insects. Next one is light trap. Light trap. Some insects are very attractive towards the light. If we arrange one light trap for a hectare, it will attract all the insects. Under light trap, we will make some methods to kill insects. Okay, last one is radiation. It is very important method for one time mating female insects means after mating the female insect will die. For one time mating female insects, we will use this method. We will collect the male insects and we will expose them for gamma radiations and X-ray radiations, and we will make them sterile. We make the male insects sterile. This male insects will copulate with the female insects, and the female insects lay eggs, which are non-viable. So that will control its population and the female will die after laying of eggs. This technique is called sterile insect technique sit in short. Here I draw a diagram for you for your easy understanding. The male for one time mating female insects will use this technique. We will took male insects and we will apply radiation of gamma or x-rays and the male insect becomes sterile. It will cooperate with the female and the female lay eggs which are non viable this technique is called sterile insect technique set that's for physical method of pest control we will see the mechanical methods of pest control mechanical method means with the help of manual machines or labor support with the help of manual machines or labor support first first one is shaking of trees if we shake the trees the insect will automatically fall for coconut we will use this technique for the prevention of rhinoceros beetles for coconut, shaking of trees prevents the rhinoceros beetles. Sticky traps. Sticky traps means it is an yellow color paper. Yellow color is very attractive for insects. On yellow color paper, we will apply some glue and we will place it near our field where uh, the insect attack is more and the insect will stick to the top trap and we will throw the traps away. Sticky traps are used for mealy bug in mango. Next one is pheromon traps. The insects are attracted towards pheromon and they will die. Next one is installation of light trap. For the installation of light trap, we require manual labor. Though the light trap comes under the physical method of pest control, installation comes under the mechanical method. Next one is chain sheets. 
Hairy caterpillars cannot climb over the tin sheets. If we apply tin sheets as a fencing to your field, around the border of your field for up to the height of 30 cm, the hairy caterpillars cannot climb it and enter into your field. It acts as a barrier for the prevention of hairy caterpillars. I will draw a diagram for you for your easy understanding. Around your field, you apply tin sheets. The hairy caterpillar cannot climb the tin sheets so that your field will be protected. And next one is trenches. This is used for marching worms. Marching worms marches from one field to another field. Marching worms marches from one field to another field. The marching worms are prevented by these trenches. They will fall in the trenches. So that we can prevent the marching worms from entering into our fields. Next one is bagging. Bagging is a technique which is used to prevent the infestation of anar butterfly in pomegranate and the fruit fly in mango. It is used to prevent the anar butterfly in pomegranate and fruit fly in mango. It can be used for any fruit but it is mostly employed in pomegranate and mango because it is economically feasible. Means the bagging cost very much, it is very ex expensive. If we use it for high expensive fruits, it will make it will be economically feasible to the farmers. It cannot be used in the fruits like uh, Goa, which are uh, sold at least price. So that's all for now. We will see in detail about it, our today's class. In today's Green Coach, we will learn about physical methods of pest control and biological methods of pest control and physical method of pest control. The factors like temperature, moisture and radiation or, uh, or make the available to the insect in excess or lower amounts which will kill the insects. For moisture deprivation, we use silica gel on the body of insect. Calonic clay which is prepared by alternate heating and acid treatments will be mixed with store products. Above 55 degrees exposure to heat kills the insects. Steam sterilization is done. Flamethrowers are used for locusts. And by depriving of oxygen, we can kill the tribolim species. Light trap can be used. One per one hectare. For radiations, for one time female mating insects, we can use this. The males are made sterile by using radiations and the sterile males are cooperated with the females, their legs which are not viable. This technique is called sit or sterile insect technique. And we will see the mechanical methods of pest control with the help of manual machines or labor, we use these methods. Shaking of trees, in Kekonet we employ this technique and it prevents rhinoceros beetle. Sticky traps in Mileberg, we can prevent by using sticky traps. Sticky traps are yellow color papers which are, uh, which are applied with gum. Pheromone traps can be used. Insulation of light trap, though light trap is in physical control, but insulation comes under the mechanical method. Tin sheets prevent the hairy caterpillars. Trenches are made for marching worms. Bagging is done to prevent the infestation of anar butterfly and pomegranate and mango fruit fly. Thank you friends for watching Green Coach videos. That's all for now. Please like and subscribe our videos for further video updates. We will update you soon with another video. Share maximum guys. Please give your valuable comments in our comment section. Share maximum. This is Vasa Subbaro along with Banu signing off for today. Thanks for watching.